नमस्कार हूँ आदर्श सु वेलकम टू आदर्श एजुकेशन सोसाइटी वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टू थर्टीन पार्ट ऑफ थर्टीन चैप्टर वेज टू डिवाइड एंड मल्टीप्लाई वेज टू मल्टीप्लाई एंड डिवाइड ओके ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड फिफ्थ मैथमेटिक्स इन विच इन दास्ट पार्ट वी डीड सम डिविजन सम दैट मीन्स वी प्रैक्टिस डिविजन isn't it and now in this part we are going to learn how many times which is available on the page number 180 so open page number 180 let's see what is there 976 children are going to a picnic how many children 976 children are going on a picnic they will be taken in mini buses they will be taken in mini buses if 25 children can go in one bus total children are 976 if 25 children can go in one bus how many buses do they need how many buses do they need total children are 976 in each bus only 25 children can go then how many buses they will require okay then two children have sold it two children have sold it check if they have made a mistake correct it discuss Okay, so let's see. In fact, two children have sold this, huh? and let's see whether any mistake or not. What is there? In fact, there is. Okay, so let's go for that. Suppose in this one, one of the children have sold this. See, total nine hundred seventy-six children are there, and in each bus, only twenty-five children can go. Yeah. so we have to divide we we want to find out how many buses will be required so if we divide this children total number of children divided by the number of children can go in one bus then we can find it out so it is 976 divided by 25 now first of all the one of the children what he will do first of all we find that five bus that is 25 multiplied by 5 is 125 okay so 976 minus 175 125 is 8 151 it is one second words again big amount or big number so what we do once again it multiply by 10 25 multiplied by 10 is 250 Deducting from that, we found. See, this is six hundred and one. Then, once again, this is once again big number. So once again, we multiply by ten. We my minus twenty two hundred fifty. So three hundred and fifty one. Once again, we find that this is big number. So once again, we multiply by ten. Minus two fifty one hundred and one. So. We multiply by four and see here the it was one hundred and one and minus one hundred it should be the remainder should be one one hundred and one minus one minus this then the remainder should be one so this is the first mistake there is a mistake over here okay so. Here we can see the portion is five plus ten plus ten plus ten. There is thirty-five plus four, thirty-nine. Okay, so portion is thirty-nine and remainder is equal to one. So if they will take thirty-nine bus, though one children will remain. Okay, so this was the uh, calculation done by one of the student, and here there is a mistake. Now let's see the other children. In fact, in your mathematics, it is something like this. And here, 
this rule should not be there but there is a mistake big mistake somewhere over there so let's see the real correct corrected uh, question there so it is 976 students divided by 25 first of all we multiply by 20 directly so minus 500 so 476 then after we multiply by 10 so 250 and the reduction is 226 now 226 is less than 250 so we multiply by 8 so 25 8 are 200 26 left and we are given uh, this, uh, this dividing with 25 so with one only minus 25 and one is divided okay so here also the portion the portion is equal to 20 plus 10 30 plus 8 plus 1 that is 39 and the reminder is equal to 1 that is 39 plus 1 will be required though one student will remain hmm? if they, will, they are going for 25 children in a single bus then one children will remain and it is not uh, ideal to go for one extra bus for only a single children okay and uh, it is their problem but this is the solution of this division okay now there is another question is also there on the page number 181 so open page number 181 in your textbook how much petrol Isha has rupees 1000 with her Isha has rupees 1000 with her she wants to buy petrol one liter of petrol cost rupees 67 Isha has 1000 rupees she wants to buy petrol one liter petrol cost rupees 67 how many liters can she buy from 1000 rupees? How many liters can she buy? So once again we have to go for division. Let's find out. So we have to divide total money 1000 rupees. And the cost of the petrol is 67 rupees. So let's divide it. Now 67 multiply by 10. That is, just we have to put 0 over here, that is 670, isn't it? So, by subtracting from 1670, we buy 330. Now, there is 330. If we multiply 67 by 5, just you do this multiplication in your mind. Multiply 67 by 5. Then, first of all, multiply 60 in 67. In 67, you can find 67. You can find 67. So, 6 and 7, isn't it? If you multiply by 5, then there is 6. So, first of all, Think about 6 only. 5, 6 are 30. And the value of 6 is 60. So it is 300. Okay. It will be 300. Now multiply 7, 5. 7 by 5. It is 35. So it will be 335. And it will be more than this number. Isn't it? So we should multiply 67 with 4 only. And by multiplying 67 with 4, 4, 7, 4, 4, 7 are 28, 8, 2 reminder. 4, 6 are 24 plus 2, 2, 6, 8. Okay, now divide this. So 0 minus 8. So we have to carry 10 from this 3. So 10 minus 8 is 2. Now instead of 3 over here, there is only 2, isn't it? So once again we have to borrow, we have to borrow 1 from here. So 2 and 1 from there, it is 12. 
12 minus 6 is 6. Here only 2 goes there, 2 minus 2 is 0. So 62 left. You can say 62 is less than 67. So this one is right. And there is that is why the quotient. Quotient is what? 10 plus 4 is 14. And the remainder is 62. So from this we can say that Isha will be able to buy 14 liter of petrol from 1000 rupees. She will be able to buy 14 liter of petrol. And then after 62, 62 rupees will left with her. She will get 62 rupees back from the petrol pump will left with her and she will be able to buy 14 liter of petrol. Now the other question is there, find out if Isha comes to your city. How much petrol can she buy with the same amount of money? Suppose in your city the uh, cost of the petrol is 66 rupees. In your city, suppose the cost of the petrol is 66 rupees. So let's go for the division. You can see 1000 multiplied by here, 66 multiplied by 10. That is 666. So if we subtract from that, then it is 340. And 66. Simply if you will calculate or if you will multiply in your mind 66, then you can see the answer is 330. So once again, we deduct it from and the 10 is the reminder. So here, question is what? Portion is equal to 10 plus 5 is 15 and the reminder is equal to 10. So, from your city, if Isha buys the petrol, then she will get, then she will get 15 liters of petrol, 15 liters of petrol from 1000 rupee and 10 rupee, the reminder, 10 rupee will left with her. Okay, so this could be the answer. Okay, we have solved this. We will go for further exercises and all the things in the next part. Do this calculation with yourself also. Try to understand this. This is another method. It is easy method, but you should try to understand it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Take care of yourselves and we'll meet you in the next session. Thank you.